not I should continue to do videos and looking for your input as well on the topic of do you enjoy them? Do you think that you would be interested in seeing more? Do you think you'd be interested maybe in a text blog of some sort, like an internet text-based blog of some sort? from pedestrians who have absolutely no idea. Um, what are your thoughts on or my videos so far? Do you enjoy them? Do you think that that's something that you would like to see more of? And do you think I should be improving the sound quality somehow? And if so, how do you propose I do it? Because if I'm going to try to make an internet video blog series for you, then I'm going to try to make it a good one. One which you can hear very well. And one which hopefully doesn't have too much turbo bearing noise because the engine and turn turbo bearings and everything are cold. It just happens to be minus 17 degrees Celsius. Gabor, at least because of the sunglasses. Good guy, I guess. Nothing wrong with having the same sunglasses. Cater the experience to the desires of the public. I guess you can say my wish is your command. Video quality would certainly improve if I decided to go official with it. I don't have a name or anything, but chances are I will. automotive circle, the automotive enthusiast circle. 
because, for example, the Prius is hated on, it's very comfortable, it's very nice, people just hate it for some reason, and I think it's because people seem to think that it signals the end of the automotive enthusiast, that there is nothing left after the Prius, but I think the BR said kind of proved that's not the case. Because it started with the Insight, the Honda Insight, technically, so if you're going to hate on anything, it should be that one. But, nobody hates on it because it doesn't have the same reputation. And I don't think you don't have to like it, but I kind of don't think that electric cars and hybrids are quite as bad as people are making them out to be. I think it's just different strokes for different folks, as the saying goes. Every person will want something different, and you can't really force it yourself and your opinions onto somebody else, much the same as you can't have somebody forcing your opinions into the garbage can. It's not fair either way, and everybody just needs to kind of sit down, think, and agree. Yes, it's a decent car, but it's not the car I would drive. In my case, I don't actually mind driving the Prius. I happen to think the idea of having a quiet car for such things as, I don't know, filming, is very nice. Some people don't agree with that. Some people think every car has to sound like a race car, and every car has to be that way. While I see it as the opportunity to save for the race car, and if you're saving gas at a rate of two or three times as much as the other cars save, fuel economy wise, then maybe it's something you should actually consider as being a viable option as a daily driver. If you're going to have a daily driver anyways, why not make it a hybrid? You will save money that you can put towards your project car, your track car, or whatever, if you do your research and you buy the right hybrid for your usage.
tell me your thoughts. And another thing, I would actually like some ideas from you about what you guys think would be an interesting video, article, topic, whichever media we decide upon. I want your opinion on it. And this isn't going to be specific to carthrottle.com necessarily. Once it becomes popular, it might be something that I've got a Facebook page for it, or a set up website. But I will certainly be sticking with carthrottle.com. I love the community and I'm very happy there, so... Don't worry, I'm not leaving, but if my videos become popular enough, maybe I possibly will, possibly, expand to cover more websites and so on and so forth, maybe, but that again just depends on you. Thanks for watching.